Hello everyone, today we're going to learn how to edit a product label on Canva. So, let's get started. Okay, well, if you want to create a product label or edit a product label with a specific dimension, or with specific dimensions I mean, then go to the Create Design button, and underneath go to Custom Size, and here you can input your desired dimensions, as well as your desired unit. And once you do that, this button right here will become clickable. So go ahead and click on it so that you'll be taken to the main editing page. As for me, I'm going to look for some templates that I can use. So on this search bar right here, I'm going to try to type in product label. And I'm going to try to see what I can find. Let's click on see all. So this is the templates page where you can choose some templates that you probably would like to use. So as for me, I'm going to try to look one, look for one that I, I'm going to use for today's video. I think I'd like to use this one instead. Let's go ahead and open it. And let's go and click on customize this template. Okay, so here it is. So basically, I just would like to use this part. The rest, like this orange background here, I can just delete that. And I can also move it up over here. Oh, sorry. Move everything up over here. And then resize our design. So I can actually resize my design in two ways. I can simply go back to Canva and uh, go to create a design input specific dimensions over here and once i'm taken to the main editing page i can just copy everything and it'll be pasted over here but since i have or i'm subscribed to canva pro or to a canva pro plan then i'm just going to use this resize tool over here so i'm going to click on it and i am going to change our height to about let's say for example three Let's give it a try. We can either choose to copy and resize it or just simply resize it. As for me, I'm going to try copy and resize. And then I'm going to highlight everything and zoom it in. Okay. Actually, it's still even bigger. Perhaps we can resize it more. Resize. Let's have the height to about two, perhaps. Let's give it a try. Resize. And then let's zoom it in. Yes, it's just enough. I like it. Okay, so we're going to stick with this one. I'm going to close this tab over here. We don't need that anymore. And yeah, this is what we're going to be using. In case you'd like to change your template, you can always refer to the side panel over here. Templates will appear under the design category. Okay, let's get started. So this is actually just a very easy example. Um, we're going to try to change our product. Say for example, oh, yeah, I actually deleted that by clicking on it and then pressing the delete key on my keyboard or you can also press this button. There, I'm going to go to the element section and I'm going to look for some false or like example products that we can use. But of course, since you're going to be using your very own product pictures, then go to the upload section and upload your pictures first by clicking on this upload button. And once it's loaded here, you can finally click on your picture and put it right over there. Okay, but we're going to use a different product today. So I'm going to go to the element section and I'm going to search for what kind of products are we going to make today? Let's see. What about coconut candy? Or chocolate? Graphics? How about this one? This should be okay. 
I guess. But let's try to look for more. How about this one? And then perhaps we're going to add these drippy designs over here. I'm going to crop it. And then I'm going to duplicate it. Perhaps I could flip one of them too. I'm just going to zoom in to make sure that they're properly positioned. Okay, let's give it a try. I think that looks nice. And we're going to put this over here and just put in here chocolate. And then I'm going to add an effect to it. So I'm going to go to effects, curve, and I'm going to adjust its curve. I'd like it to be curved upwards. And I'd like to adjust its spacing as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click this button and then adjust the letter spacing just like that. And then adjust the curve once again put it over here. Perhaps we could resize it too. And then continuously adjust it as necessary. And I think it's missing something. Perhaps we could have another tag. So I'm just going to duplicate this so that we don't have to keep on adding text box. And I'm just going to type here a random name. So say for example, Daisy. Then we're going to look for a fancy font that'll match this. We're going to type in here cursive. And we can choose from the results over here. How about this one? Perhaps we can adjust this, put it somewhere over there. Or we could put that above, put this over here. And then we could also curve this one. And then perhaps we can add a shadow to this. Mm, what I'd like to do is to go to, oh, to click on it first and go to edit image. And then from here, I'm going to choose shadows and drop. Or what about backdrop? And then I'm going to double click on it and adjust it. That should be okay. And for these circle elements, I like to change their colors. So I'm going to click on them and click on this color button over here and change it to my desired color. I'm going to do the same thing for or to the other element. This one is actually a circular frame. I see it now. So I'm going to change its outline to something like this. And perhaps, yeah, we can experiment and change the color of the uh, background to something else. How about that? I think that looks nice. And perhaps we could also change the background color. I think that's nice, but unfortunately we cannot see these elements anymore. Perhaps we could make it darker. Okay, how about that? We're going to do the same thing. So we're going to copy style and paste the style over here. Copy style. And we're going to do the same thing for the others. And now we're going to deal with these texts. So in order to make them visible, we're going to turn them into white. And we're going to bring them forwards. So position and then to front. Or I can just delete this. I don't think I need that. And I'm going to adjust this text over here. Put it somewhere over here. 
as well as these. So let's change the color to white. And we're going to move, I'm just going to move that for now because I'm going to move these texts over here. Now I'm going to move it back. Okay, that should be fine. And put this over here. And we're now going to change the color. So this one to white. Oopsie, we're going to change its color first and then move this element back to where it belongs. I'm going to change the color of our barcode as well. By the way, this is just an example barcode. So you have to put your own barcode over here. Make some small adjustments. And I think, yeah, I'm not really happy with this text, so maybe we should look for another one. Yeah, this one's much better, I think. And perhaps we can change the background color. How about that? Okay. And you can input your very own ingredients here. I don't have any, so I'm just going to leave it like that just to show you an example text. But feel free to input whatever text you want to input here as well as over here. And I think that's it. If you'd like to keep on adding elements to your design, go ahead and do so. And yeah, make sure that you're happy with your design before you download it. And once you're finished, you can finally download your design. So go to share, then download. And from here, you can select whatever file type you'd like your design to be saved as. If you'd like it to be printed, then Canva suggests PDF print. As it says here, it's best for printing, so go ahead and choose that. But depending on your needs, yeah, choose whatever file type you want. And if you're subscribed to Canva Pro, you also have more tools over here before you finally download your design. So make sure to tweak them according to your preferences. And once you're happy with everything, then finally click on download. And that's it for now. We hope you found our video today of help somehow. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you in the next one.